good, YouTube? You know what it is. Your man Jinx back up here. Jinx PTV. Um, up here with another video. Today is Tuesday. I believe it is what? The 10th? The 11th? It's the 10th. Okay. So, for the ones who may know, the ones who are watching it on the CW, we are we are currently into, well, I'll be into it in a minute when I show it, but we are into the second episode of Crisis on Infinite Earths, right? So, I did watch the first one. I purposely haven't watched the second one yet, which I believe is the, um, the Batwoman episode, because I was trying to, I was trying to, um, I was trying to, uh, catch up on all her episodes, you know what I'm saying, and I just happened to complete, I think it was Tea Party something, um, yesterday, you know what I'm saying, and then I end up, I was, wasn't feeling too well yesterday, so I ended up falling asleep, and I actually missed the Crisis on um, Infinite Earths episode, which was the, uh, Batwoman series, so I'm gonna watch it right now, y'all gonna watch it with me, and then we're gonna have a discussion after, a review about it, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna try to do this for the last See, we're into the second episode now, so there's, what, three left before they go to the break? I think. I think that's how it's going to go. So the one that's coming on today, so the Bat, all right, the Batwoman one I'm about to do now came on yesterday. It came on on the ninth, right? Yeah, it came in on the ninth, but I didn't get a chance to watch it. Plus, I was working all day today, so I couldn't watch it today because if I would have got distracted, that would have been a problem because of what I do for work. So now that I'm free, I'm going to watch it now. I figure I'll react to it while I'm watching it. Y'all can watch it with me. We can have a little discussion after. Y'all let me know you, you let me know in your um you let me know your opinions in the comments below. And um yeah man, let's get into it. So I think we're leaving off from the last episode I watched was the first one. Uh Crisis had just started. Okay, they were at they were evacuating Earth thirty eight, I believe it is. They were evacuating Earth thirty eight. Um, Oliver Queen ended up dead at the end of that, which I'm not worried about because we all know, uh, Oliver, Oliver's supposed to come back, um, later on. Well, we all know he's supposed to come back later on in the, um, the crossover. Plus, they do have, I think, two or three episodes left after this on, um, the regular Arrow series. So, if he's dead now, um, somehow they're supposed to be trying to bring him back or he comes back or maybe the Oliver from... The other Earth where um, Jonathan Kent got sent is why you're going to come back. I don't know. Y'all already saw Batgirl, so, I mean, Batwoman, so y'all know better than I would if it if they mentioned it at all. But we're going to get into it now. Watch it with me. We're going to review it after. And then um, just let me know in your comments below. All right, let's get it. Let's start it. I'm going to put on these big-ass headphones because I can't find my Bluetooth ones. Never thought we'd be pouring one out for Oliver. We're not gonna wait for Barry? I don't think he's ready to say goodbye. Ruby Rose. So, anybody wanna Ruby say some words for Oliver? He sacrificed himself for me and Barry. Shouldn't have done His sacrifice saved a billion more people. Let's not call that a mistake. Look, Oliver died the way he lived. A hero. Not to rush a tender moment, but I think the multiverse is ending soonish. No, I can't. I can't. Barry's right. It feels like giving up. We managed to get billions of people to safety. There has to be a way we can undo this. Oliver, my mom, Argo, Earth, all, all those Earths, all those people who vanished, there has to really be a way we can get them back. Well, we focus on stopping it from happening to every other universe. Oh, hey, welcome to the Joy Zone. Where's Dig? At home with JJ. He still doesn't know about Oliver. Lila, I you... know, I just... I need to figure out how to tell him. Yeah. You can't just hijack the Wave Rider. Our crew is still on there. If there was any chance at surviving the crisis, we need its technology. Who? Yeah, I kind of promised our crew they'd never have to do another crossover. We don't need your crew. Just Ray's lab. And we have an entire multiverse of wave riders at our disposal. Oh. For all return. 
retired. We did. Well, some. One died. No one was using the ship, so I took it. It's my ship. Why are you here? I like the quiet. He's trying to be a writer. Shut up. Of romance novels. Well, you can see how that's going. It's going fine, you piece of... You're basically living out of your car. Listen, Snowflake, I'm just... Boys, come with me, McRory. And I promise you'll have plenty of beer to drink and stories to tell. Yo, you cannot have a crossover without Mick. Yo. Mick has to be in every crossover. I don't think his... The multiverse... He hasn't been in yet, even when... Elseworlds, he was in Elseworlds. He was in Invasion. Wait a minute, was he in Elseworlds? No, he wasn't in Elseworlds. He was in Crisis on Earth X. Okay, all right, whatever. And its heroes need a ship. Mm. You had me a beer. <laughs> Across space and time exist seven heroes. Beings of the purest will can ultimately... Why he just Beings of the purest like will can ultimately... It's not working. No. Beings of the purest will, who can ultimately defeat the Anti-Monitor and help save the multiverse. They are known as Paragons. Paragons? And you're just dropping this on us now? I only recently learned of their existence by consulting the Book of Destiny. How? We destroyed it last year. After Oliver's early demise, I went back into the time stream and retrieved it intact. It is now safely stored in this ship's library. So it's what? Plan B? It's comfrey. <sighs> Anyone else wish we'd done that shot? Gotta say, missing that wow factor. Lena killed you. Yeah, only for a little while. Everyone has a part to play. Even Lex Luthor. You did this? You brought that poisonous snake back? His destiny was unfulfilled. Lex Luthor still has an important role to play. So you could revive him, but you can't bring back Oliver. I restored Luthor long before the crisis caused my power to wane. And what about those innocent lives on Earth 38? Did they not have destinies to fulfill? I'm sorry, but I can't trust the man who thinks Lex Luthor is an ally. How many of y'all remember that John, his name is John Cryer, right? If y'all watch, like, I mean, I don't know how old a lot of y'all are out there, but if any of y'all watch, like, the old, um, the old Superman, I want to say it was Quest for Peace, he played Lenny, which was Lex Luthor's nephew, the little goofy, you know, um, what do you call him, stoner dude, you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't, if you don't remember, just go back and look up Quest for Peace. And I want to say his name was Lenny or something like with a any in it, any e in it, why something like that. But yeah, he was he was pretty funny in that. He actually plays a pretty good Lex Luthor too, but he kind of reminds me more. And that's probably where, where he gets his um his mojo from, I guess. He he's he's sinister like the Lex Luthor of um Smallville, but he has like the comedic one of Gene Hackman from the old um Superman movies. That's just my opinion. All I got from that is that if you die again, that dude can't bring you back. And you are? New. Unfriendly. Mm. Lex Luthor, kind of a dick, huh? When I think of all those people on my earth that we wanted to save but couldn't, it just feels unfair. Look, a day ago, I didn't think my life would get any worse. My sister murdered my stepmom and, and framed my dad for it. Fuck. Even for Gotham. I'm fighting for a chance to make it right. And this fourth paragon, my cousin Bruce on another earth, finding him might help me get that chance. 
Only if you believe the Monitor. What kind of talk is that from the Paragon of Hope? Come with me. Let's go save the universe. So she had the baby. And I think she actually had a baby in real life, and then I don't know, her whole body just went out the window. Yo, those are those um, what do you call those extrapolators? Did Cisco just like make a whole box full of those and just give them out to everybody on different Earth? Because it seems like everybody is popping up with one, like you know, they, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Who the hell did Lena Luthor get one? But then again, Lena Luthor, she's just a smart brainiac, so I guess she could just make her own shit. That. And man was never meant to fly. But here we are. Goodbye, Superman. All of you. Now he got it. Lex Luthor has the Book of Destiny. He's going to use it to kill Superman. If he kills the Paragon, we're all doomed. What have you done? As I said. Everyone has a part to play. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> me too. And from what you told me, the Monitor was wrong about Oliver. So, I don't know, Barry, maybe he's wrong about you too. Maybe you're not supposed to die. Listen, Oliver told me about how he brought Sarah and his sister back to life, fusing something called a Lazarus pit. I don't know, that sounds too good to be true. Well, it, I mean, it is. It turns out Thea destroyed all the pits on this earth, but there are more Earths to choose from. I know that you want Oliver back more than anything, but this he is- He can't be dead. Not him. Barry, get over it. Okay. You may be worried about trying to save yourself. Funny enough, the Monitor gave me a mission of my own. To find our hopeless Kryptonian Paragon. Are you? Well, a, a different, like a less this version of you. I'm, I'm, I'm KK, and I'm, I'm Bruce's cousin. Yeah, no. Earth One villain? Only friend, actually. Oh no, well, at least he's cute. Nope. Mm -mm. Well, let's not make that weird. That's weird. Can I just please? Okay. <laughs> You need to leave now. Don't be so rude, Luke. Oh, his name is Luke. Luke. You'll have to forgive him. We're not used to having guests. shows and I actually think he did do some Justice Leagues early in the season but I don't think he did all of them from beginning to end but this is the dude that played the voices of um, the Batman character on them. I've never seen this dude in real life before. I've never seen him in interviews. No, I pictured him different. Jeez. Bruce? Where's Luke taking Kara? Library. Just while we get to know each other again. Oh, okay, I can hear it now. I can hear it in the voice. And Bruce, I knew more a different kind of suit. Lifetime of injuries. But you've aged well. For a dead girl. I died. Five years ago. We have a new problem. It turns out Lex Luthor is been a ghost before. Going to Iris. Lex is jumping from universe to universe, killing off Superman. If one of them's the Kryptonian Paragon, it's game over. We need to find this Earth Superman before Lex jumps here and offs him. 
think it's a little late for that. Disappeared into thin air. Lex killed him and reached out. He won't stop until we're all dead. You sure you want to do this? Unless it's a bit of nasty business. We're sure. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so could you please take your smoke break later? Maybe just do the spell. Simmer down, Speedy. This is the spell. Celestial haystack. An earth with a functioning Lazarus pit. Okay, well now what? Ah, oh, perhaps a thank you? And a little well-earned all for a magical job well done, eh? How about I thank you when you bring my dad back? Alright, come on, let's go. We can't screw this up, okay? When we bring Oliver back, I need you to promise me you can bring back his soul. Yeah, one thing at a time, right, love? I need to hear you say it. I'll do it. Thank you. To the best of my abilities. guy on the paper towel rolls. I can do that with one bare hand. Hello. Hi. Hi. You are Clark Kent, right? Can I help you? Uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> um, so, uh, this universe and an infinite number of others is in the process of blinking out of existence, and there are seven people in all of space. Look, I've faced a lot of types of things. Hello, old friend. Who are you? Don't you know me, Clark? I'm Lex Luthor. Hmm. Yeah, Lex. Maybe not the Lex you know. The multiverse has a way of aligning fates. What'd you do with those people? Send them back to their flying tin can in the sky. Let's hope they learn from this teachable moment. Now, I'm here for you, not them. Whoever you are, I'm just a guy working on his farm. You will always be my greatest enemy on any earth. It's written in the stars and in this book. Or I wouldn't know that on this earth, Clark Kent <laughs> is Superman. Where I come from, that would be ridiculous. He can't see past his glasses. So what do you want? Hi. To kill you, of course, and every version of you across the multiverse, so that if the super friends somehow find a way to save existence, there won't be a single superman to stand in my way. Wait, what? <clears throat> That's kryptonite. Which has no effect on me ever since I gave up my powers. You gave up your powers? Can't say I've missed these chats. You were basically a god. You could fly. You could see through walls. You had super strength. Oh, he has kids. You're kidding me. That is worth more than any superpower. Hey, Clark. The girls want to show you what they made. I think it's time for you to... Still stronger. You took all the fun out of it. Enjoy your little slice of mediocrity while you can, Clark. You're all doomed anyway. Hey. Was somebody here, or were you attacking the cows again? It was Lex Luthor from another Earth. Apparently, the multiverse is ending. <laughs> Smallville, you made it funny. 
It's taking you about a decade. Oh, but you're getting the hang of it. Hmm. What'd the girls make? A mess. A mess it was we like. can't wait for you to see it. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a job for you. Us. Paragon of courage. <laughs> Yeah. You're a few years too late. Now this is a newspaper. Ray tracked Lex's last breach to this earth, so he can't be far. Well, let's find him, me, Clark, before Lex does. Oh! Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem so familiar. Have we met before? <clears throat> uh, he looks just like Ray Palmer. Who? Hey, nice glasses. Oh, thanks. Um, do you have a second? Sure. For a citizen of Metropolis? Always. If you wouldn't mind contacting my assistant. It's about Lex Luthor. How did you say you knew Kate? Uh, I didn't. We're still sort of getting to know each other. What are those? Mementos. From Batman's greatest victories. You mean trophies? Oh, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> uh, yeah, those belong to Superman. His alter ego. At least. Let's go around with Luther. I can handle him. That's what you're not hearing. He's changed the game. Yeah, the, the book allows him to do anything. He made us vanish right in front of the last Clark. What is this? Perry White, Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane? Why are all these names on your wall? The reject from Gotham felt that we didn't cover him enough, so he played what he called a practical joke. Something gassed the building. All these people died? My friends, my wife. I lost everyone in one fell swoop. Almost as if you've been through more loss than any mortal man could endure. I think we just found our paragon. We need you to come back with us. I know this sounds insane, but you might be the key to saving the multiverse. It's actually one of the least insane things I've ever heard. First, you stay and face Luther. Then you won't do it alone. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 I just have one question about that scene. No, let me not go back. Where, where did they go? They all know who, who they all know who each other with. Right, you know, who cares? Maybe they're just trying to mimic the whole school Superman. You see they playing the whole John Wayne music too, that's dope. Let him kill you. Oh, I've moved on from that. Oh, Never thought I'd say this, but I'm tired of killing Superman. It's so much more fun making Superman kill Superman.
it later. Help me with the book. I like him as Lex Luthor. John Cryer is... It is John Cryer, right? Picture the Clark that we met. Now Focus on sure. what the universe knows he's meant to be. There's only room in this world for one of us. It's not working. It's like, it's like Lex has turned all of his love into hate. Love? Clark, this isn't you. Not the real Clark, the one that Perry White respected and Jimmy Olsen looked up to and Lois loved. You know nothing about me or them. They know more than you think. They would want your memories of them to lift you up, not drive you to darkness. That's the truth, Clark. And the truth means everything to you. Remember who you are. You okay? Actually, this is the second time I've gone nuts and fought myself. Oh, that's right. I um, see why you marry her. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't mean to keep pausing it. But what he meant by that just now, if y'all ain't never seen the, um, uh, is it the same one? The Superman that Richard Pryor was in. When he got drunk and, um, ended up, he ended up fighting, he ended up, he like split himself in two. And he ended up fighting, um, Clark Kent and the drunk version of Superman was fighting each other. I think that's what he meant by that. I'm pretty sure that's what he meant by that. Yep, this is the place. Yep, that's clean enough. Mm -hmm. I'll clear this out. All right, we'll go get Oliver. Wallets. <clears throat> Are you sure that you want to do this? More than anything. Yeah. I can barely Father, walk. Father, take no for an answer. I don't wear that again. Do you understand how many people, how many worlds are going to die? Well, if there are anything like this world, maybe that's for the best. How can you even say that? There was no hope for this world. It's because you killed Superman. This guy's not a paragon of anything. I was right. We can't trust the Monitor. What did you do? Clearly what you couldn't. How is he a threat? A strange visitor from another planet comes to Earth with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Clark. Clark always said yes to anyone with a badge or a flag. He gave them too much power. My parents taught me a very different lesson. Life only makes sense if you force it to. A little souvenir from the old hometown. Give it some time. Guys, me is right. This isn't. I was about to say, maybe it's too early. his body we still have to get his soul back that isn't oliver yet the kate i knew didn't trust anyone <laughs> let alone a kryptonian i don't know what happened to you bruce but it ends now yes let it end let it all end this world's not worth saving in any universe <laughs> if you really think that you're gonna have to kill one more person me don't be a fool Okay. 
listen to me. There is no hope. They killed Kevin Conroy. Who's gonna voice? Oh, who's gonna so, voice back? Uh, do you have a gluten sensitivity too? <laughs> no, not that I know of. Congratulations. You're a ringer for a filthy Kryptonian. Mom must be so proud. Give us a piece of cake. There. There's someone I want you to meet. Hi there, handsome guy. He looks just like my son, Jason. Well done. You've succeeded in finding the paragon of truth. Lex Luthor played his role, he led you to him. Yeah? How many more people did he hurt to do that? You think you're a good guy, but you're not. I think it's kind of neat. And which Earth is that? None of them. It's us. This ship. Apparently, there are still a few bucks. Your machine works just fine. That light is the paragon of courage. Yeah, well, Bruce's body isn't on the ship, so... No, but you are. I said the path to Earth-99 would lead you to the paragon. And that has come to pass. You are the bat of the future, Kate Kane. You or the paragon of courage. Ahor, ahor, condones, halosi, et vos aloetis fudori. The queen si agusa casa, si almi do solasa. What? Please, sir. Uh... Something's wrong. This is, uh, this never happened before. With all the antimatter in the system, uh, I've lost my magical mojo. If we can't get Oliver's soul back, he's gonna be a monster forever. Yeah. I do have a theory, though, and I will talk about it in a Do these things even work on you? Not really. But you looked like you could use a drinking buddy. Yeah. Time travelers, aliens. I have barely even started this whole vigilante thing. How am I, Paragon? I've seen you in action. You saved me. And last year, you saved Oliver and Barry's asses. Thank you very much. <laughs> how much you care, how hard you try, those are the things that make you a hero. Not powers or time travel. And you may not feel like you have the experience now, but you have the heart. You're one of the bravest people I know. That Bruce was brave once, too. And he had heart. What if I end up like him? You won't. You'll make your own destiny. I found this in his library. That's Beth and me from Earth 99. Alice. I wish I knew her like this. Maybe you still can. Please stop. Come to me, Hollywood. It is time. It's time. Lila Michaels. Harbinger. I need you. Who are you? Universe after universe has fallen before my power. World after world consumed. With every death, I steal my mirror strength. And mine grows ever stronger. Who am I? No, oh, damn. I am the Anti-Monitor. Come, Harbinger. 
There is work to be done. things that happened there's some I won't say there's no bad things that happened it was it was good the whole episode was pretty exciting there's a couple of things I didn't like though <laughs> um but okay let's all let's start from the beginning I'm not gonna like backtrack and go through the whole thing with video footage but okay so the beginning everybody's raring from all of the dying and you know, whatever but I kind of knew that the way that he got killed off it wasn't gonna be like that was gonna be the that was gonna be the end of it, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it was too early. For one, I didn't think they were gonna kill him that early, you know what I'm saying? But um, as you can see, they did bring him back with the Lazarus pit, and you know he's back. But before I get to the theory about Oliver, um, I really think what's gonna happen now, um, going for no, 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 let me go back to the the points that I liked about it. What I didn't like, I like the fact that they um. Batwoman's character. I mean, there was a there was a Batwoman show, so it only makes sense for her to become the what was it the paragon of courage or whatever, or give her some type of title because it was her episode. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like in Supergirl's episode, I mean, they didn't really give her anything, but that was like one of her episodes where she felt more um, heartbreak because she lost she lost two planets. She lost Argus City and she lost. Um, Earth 38. Um, who else? What else happened? Uh, the Superman, the Christopher Reeve Superman. Well, not Christopher Reeve Superman, but Kingdom Come Superman, which is actually supposed to be Christopher Reeve's Superman later on. Had he not passed, I don't know. I don't know how old Christopher Reeve would be now. But had he not passed, um, he was like may say, you know, still able to get around or whatever modern day age. He probably would have cameo cameoed in that. But because um uh, what's his name? Brandon Roth did the whole um Superman Returns, which is supposed to be directly from the old Superman series. I can see why they used him for this. Uh, so that was good. I like that. Uh Okay. Tom Wellington. I don't like. I don't like how they did that. I don't like how they did the Smallville thing. But I also have a theory on that too, because if you watch, if you watch the scene over, when you understand certain points about filmmaking, and if you watch the scene over, it doesn't. It doesn't really make sense for them to put that scene in there if you're not going to use him again later on. Like why? Why? You could have just had them do the cameo and Lex do why like why even why would Lex even leave him alive? You know what I'm saying? Just because he doesn't have his power. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have his powers. He doesn't have, he's not a threat. But if you remember Superman too, he lost his powers purposely for Lois Lane. But then when uh, the uh, other Kryptonian General Zod had attacked, he went and got his powers back. Not to say this is the same type of scenario, but they could be playing into that. So I, I honestly don't think that. Tom Wellington's character is actually um, done yet. You know, I really don't. I don't think so. You can quote me on it later. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But I don't think his character is done yet. Like, why even? Why even have him sit there and contemplate? Like, um, obviously the the multiverse is collapsing and blah blah blah. This and that. Why even sit there and think about it? He can just look at it as, what the hell with these people? And just walk off with Lois Lane and go play with the kids. I don't really think that he's done with this yet. I don't. I really don't think he's done with it yet. Let me know y'all opinions. Y'all think he's done. I don't think he's done yet. Uh, what else? We talked about the Kingdom Come Superman. I, I, th I thought that was dope how they used the um the John Williams soundtrack in it. But although they didn't really use a lot of it, but they you know they did touch on it and it does you know give a call back to the earlier um Superman shows, uh, Superman movies. Uh. Kevin Conroy's Batman, bro, well, Bruce Wayne. Uh, uh, 
I think they could have wrote that differently. But, you know, there was a period in the comics where Batman did get like that. Him and Superman did end up having a very bad fight. I actually think Green Hour was in it too, because I think Green Hour actually lost an arm in that series. I think. I'm not sure. It could be different, but, um, yeah, that was that was cool and all. You know, it was it was good for them to bring Gotham and you know introduce Kevin Conroy was cool. I mean, you know, if you listen to his voice, you hear the Batman Beyond voice, some of the Justice League um voices that he played. Um, but I just think that I think they could have wrote it differently, maybe. Like, had I been had I been the writer, I would have wrote it differently. You know, I would have. I'm I'm kind of like seventy thirty with that scene. You know what I'm saying? So, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What's all, what's all the juice? What's all the, what are the good stuff that happened there? I think all we gotta talk about now is Oliver. So here's my theory with Oliver. Now that I've seen Constance, Constantine involved, I think what's gonna end up happening. I don't know. Stop kicking this truck off of me. Hold on, y'all. I don't necessarily think that they are going to bring Oliver's soul back. I think what is going to happen, seeing that Constantine is involved, and people who do know who Constantine is, and, you know, who John Constantine is, you know, look it up. I think that Constantine, in a way, is going to have, uh, is going to find somehow to make him into the Spectre. We all know that um, the Spectre is supposed to be in this, and all of the Queen is supposed to play the Spectre. But seeing that they already used him, um, they already used the Lazarus Pit, Lazarus Pit, the Lazarus Pit, to revive him. I think at some point to get him like stable and more human like, which the Spectre I think is a dead person, but to get him like more not so wild like he is right now. I think what they're gonna do is um. I think what they're going to do is um, find a way for um, Constantine to make him into the Spectre or somehow, you know, something something on that line. I think that's what they're going to do. Somehow, some way. So, um, I'm not too sure. I, that, I just did theory that I'm going with because I didn't know he's supposed to become the Spectre. And I'm just like, how is he going to do that with, you know, being resurrected from the ladder pit and being all wild and crazy like that? But now that you know, Constantine is involved, I think he might have something to do with it, you know. But the, uh, let's see, today is the, where are we at? The 11th? The 10th. Today is the 10th. Third episode today, I believe it is the Flash episode that's going to be coming on. Um, I did watch Black Lightning yesterday, and I, I only watched Black Lightning. Well, I actually watched it this morning because I was just like I fell asleep with both of them. But I ended up rewatching it this morning on the streaming service, and um, the they did call they he was rescued at the end of the at the end of the episode or something going on with Nessa and Jennifer or whatever. And he ended up um, getting called, he ended up getting rescued, like, right before the wave hit. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why I didn't really think it had anything to do with it, because the wave kept going, the skies kept going from red to silver, from silver to white. You know, it was, I don't know, it was a little weird. So hopefully they explain it today, or, I don't know, I don't know. But he ended up getting rescued, not rescued, but, you know, brought to, um, I'm assuming he's going to be brought to the wave rider, because in the previews they showed them on, the wave rider. So we have to find out today, today, what is going to happen. So we are talking about it's five o'clock here on the East Coast. So we are talking about three hours from now, yo. And I'm going to do a reaction to that as well. So y'all stay tuned. If y'all like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Leave your comments below and give your opinions on the episode. And um, yeah, man, if you're here for the first time, subscribe to the page and um. I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. I'm excited for this. So we got, what do we, three episodes in? Well, we'll be three episodes in today. Because by the time y'all watch this, it'll either be close to 8 o'clock Eastern time. Or you might be watching it after. It just depends on how quickly I get done editing it. You know?
what I'm saying? So, um, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I hope y'all like the video. Hit that post notification so you know when I, uh, so you know every time I put up a video and I catch y'all on another one, man. Peace.